In 1984, Caixa inaugurated the cultural center in the old Garcia Barbon Theater building, which had been built by the Porino architect Antonio Palacios at the beginning of the 20th century, on the ruins of the burned-down Teatro Rosalia de Castro. Antonio Palacios is responsible for a number of interesting works, both in Galicia and throughout Spain. One of his best-known works is the Palacio de las Telecomunicaciones, in Madrid's Plaza de Cibeles. The Caixanova Cultural Center, restored by Desiderio Pernas, today houses a theater, an auditorium, and different meeting rooms, and many types of cultural events take place there. With an eclectic, academic style, the architect took his inspiration from the Opera Garnier in Paris, for the carved finish of the walls and the separation into three levels. In the façade there are two bronze horse sculptures by Juan Oliveira, which look as if they are about to leap as well as several stone figures representing painting, theatre, sculpture, literature, cinema and music, which were sculpted by Bucinos. Inside the domed roof made of reinforced concrete is the roof of the auditorium and the theatre floor. The vestibule of the cultural centre is a Galician reference point, and it is decorated with works by Galician artists from the Caixa Nova collection. The side walls are more functional and less ornate, and have large areas of glass. It's worth taking a walk around the building to have a look at the rear elevation. An exhibition hall finishes the side of the building, where more than 10 different exhibitions are shown each year, of the widest range of artistic styles. It's a good idea to see the building after nightfall, when it is illuminated, and to see a show, of course.